For this project, we're going to need two soda cans, two aluminum soda cans or beer cans, or if you want to make it skinnier, you can use Red Bull cans, whatever. Something to measure with, a straight edge, a sharpie, a pair of good scissors, um, a knife. You're going to need a stapler. I don't. I couldn't find a stapler today, so I'm just going to wing it without it. But uh, usually, you want to use a stapler. And uh, to operate it, I'm going to use nail polish remover with acetone in it. Um, usually, use uh, denatured alcohol, rubbing alcohol. But huh, we all seem to be all out of that day too. So didn't want to open up the bottle out of my med kit. So we'll go with that. Alright folks, first thing you want to do, get your two cans, and before you uh, get too far into it, you want to take your knife, and you want to run it around the inside at the bottom of this little crease at the bottom of the can, about three or four times. kind of pop it out by hand there. Like I said, be careful not to cut yourself on these edges. You can file them down if you want. I'm not going to do that in this video. And you just discard this piece. Now, once you have your bottom cut out, Take your sharpie, place it on a something of height that you want to that you want this thing to be. Kind of keep an even mark on it, kind of like that. Then you just kind of spin the can, make an even line all the way around. Once you make your mark. Is good to go for that. Do the same thing with the other cam on the bottom. Once you have your line, you're gonna want to go. You're gonna want to see how tall your your can is gonna be from the base of all the from all, the very bottom base all the way up to that line, and then you're gonna add. Uh, about a quarter of an inch to the height of that and then you're gonna make your mark and try to do it on a straight line right here right here whatever whatever straight line you can that goes up and down from this line to the top that'll make it easier to cut the inside piece now what I did here was I went a quarter of an inch above made a mark and then uh, I measured from the base to that mark and took that measurement and measured from this mark to the top of, to the higher portion of the can and made a mark here. That's going to give you your interior. Now you're going to want to cut this bottom portion of the can off in between these two lines um, following this line preferably but you can trim it up afterwards. I usually make a cut like I already did here with, with the box cutter and then just cut the rest of it with scissors. Try not to bend it up too much. Trim this here to the line. Once you got your two pieces cut here and trimmed, you want to take the bottom piece because since this is going to go over top, uh, over the outside of the top piece, you want to take the top half of one of your cans and be real careful with this. But uh, 
you don't cut yourself. But kind of stretch it over the top. You know, you're going to kind of stretch it out. It gives a little bit better playroom for your to get this over the top of that other can. It makes it a lot easier. Now you're going to go right up. Remember those two lines, that straight line? Those two marks you made on that straight line? Cut right up this straight line. Just like so, right in the middle of your marks. As straight as you can get it. And go past this mark. And then cut the very top of the can off. Now this mark I made just on this crease, so I can cut and follow this crease once it's open. Coil this up. And then on the inside of that ring right here, on the bottom can, you put that in there, size it up, because you want it to when it's permanent when it's done, you want it to sit right inside that piece. And then you staple these ends together. One on each end. But I'm not gonna do now that. After today. you get your staples inside your insert, what you're gonna do is on one side, on like the bottom side, you're gonna cut out two little notches opposite of each other, two little triangle notches. That's going to let the alcohol go in there and create the pressure needed. You're going to have it look like that, opposite each other, and then you'll go ahead and insert it in the can. Once you staple it, you set this inset in here, and then you can slide this right on the inside of the, the top piece goes on the inside of the bottom piece that's the best way to do it anyway be careful not to wrinkle it up too much you're gonna get some wrinkles in there but you, sh you should be able to get this in here without messing it up too much there we go now once you get that in there the closer you push it the better Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of slide my finger, since I didn't do the stapling, I'm going to coil this up with my fingers and then push it closer together. You want to make sure your band goes on the inside of that. Now if you have any rough edges where the cans overlap each other, you might want to fix that up real quick. You can file it down or cut them off. I'm going to be careful, so it'll be all right. Now, for this part, I forgot to mention in the beginning, but, um, you're going to want a push pin. I couldn't find a push pin, so I found a really sturdy safety pin. Now, here's your open top here. And what you're going to do is you're going to punch about 16 holes. You're going to go one here, one across, one halfway, one across from that, and then have it and have it and so on and so forth till you get 16 holes. Now this is just a just an aluminum can so it's not hard to do. Alright now once you get your 16 holes in there you got your notches down in there now you're ready to light this thing Please go outside to test it the first time. Now, like I said, I'm using nail polish remover. It's not what you normally use for this, but it can be done. You know, the longer you want to last, the more you put in, obviously. The last one I made boiled it about two cups of water on a little pot in about two minutes. So. Turn out the light here so you can see what it's doing.
and normally you just blow it. Sometimes I gotta preheat a little bit. It takes a little while to get preheated. And once it heats up, the exterior of it. You can see these little burners on the outside are starting to work on it now. And what that'll look like with a pot underneath it. You can set a pot right on it. I don't have a pot with me, but you set a pot right on it and it'll keep on cooking it. Or you can build yourself a little bit of a, a little bit of a stand to kind of stand above it. But that should do fine for a pot. If you want more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Now, once you get it burning really good, you should, and you get a, if you build a stand for it, this is what it should look like on the stand. Now, once you have these both trimmed up, oops, 